we tested six engineer filters to see which one was the best. From their ability to filter out contaminants to their capacity and impact to your car's performance. We are diving deep to see what makes these filters tick. So if you want to find out which one takes the crown, then stick around. How often do you change your air filter? Every 3,000 miles? 10,000 miles? Or never? Regardless, you're going to need a new air filter. But which one should you buy? Air filters, from $6 all the way up to $13. There are too many options out there. And to help you decide which one's the best, we built our very own air filter testing rig. The main job of an air filter is to get rid of particles and debris before they reach your engine. Even the smallest 5 micron particle can wreak havoc in your engine. So why not just stock up and put 3 filters in there to make sure nothing goes through? Well, generally, the more material you have, the more restrictive the air filter. Thus. Your engine has to work harder to pull in the air, making it less efficient. To test which air filter is more restrictive, we'll be varying the airflow from 110 cubic feet per minute to 330 cubic feet per minute. The same airflow as the G35 we'll be utilizing for our performance test. The higher the differential pressure, the more restrictive the filter. For our first contender, we have the popular Wix filter coming in with a price of $12.94. Manufactured by Mann and & Hummel and made in Mexico. It has a metal backing and boasts an impressive 97 pleats. The Wix puts in numbers from 0.09 to 0.475. For our next contender, we have Amazon's bestseller, the EP Auto, with a price of $14.83. It claims to last 12,000 miles and extend performance. It has a metal backing and a respectable 94 pleats. Made in China. EP Auto comes in with 0 0.09 to 0.485. Slightly worse than the Wix. Up next, we have the Fram Extra Guard with a price of $7.94. It claims to last 12,000 miles and increase horsepower. Made in the USA, it only has 73 pleats with a metal backing. Although the workmanship, let's say, is not the best. And the Fram leads the pack with an impressive 0.055 to 0.395 of differential pressure. Next up, we have the Purilator 1 with a price of $11.25. An American brand since 1923, made in China. It claims to last 12,000 miles with a metal backing and an impressive 95 pleats. The Purilator 1 comes in with 0 0.05 to 0 0.405 of differential pressure, sliding in right on into second place. Next up, we have the Beck and Arnley with a price of $9.66. It has a measly 53 pleats that looks like a crumpled up Amazon box. It's enclosed in a plastic enclosure and made in China. The Beck and Arnley is currently in third place with 0.06 to 0.425 of differential pressure. And lastly, we have the cheapest air filter on Amazon, the Echo Guard, with a price of $6.08. It seems like a very good quality for the price and has a respectable 90 pleats. Made in China. The Echo Guard ties the EP Auto in last place with 0.09 to 0.485 in differential pressure. The Fram currently holds the lead, but will it stand its ground? For our next test, we will be testing the air filter's ability to protect your engine and filter out harmful contaminants. After spending a fortune buying the equipment, months of designing, prototyping, printing, building, and coding, we finally have our testing rig. 
To test filtering performance, we measured 10 grams of standardized dust. Yep, you heard that right. Standardized dust. The most expensive dust money can buy. Calibrated and everything. We then introduced this to our feeding system that will ensure that we introduce dust at the same rate for every filter. This then will get ejected and aerosolized by this sandblasting gun, allowing the dust to spread evenly. This will then travel down this tube, get filtered, and all the particles that were not filtered will get picked up by this particle sensor and counted. Easy, right? Well, they don't call it integration hell for nothing. Sensors don't want to calibrate, power supply breaks, feeding system does not withstand the vibrations, and the anemometer just decides to quit on us. All part of the struggle though, but we made it work. This particle sensor can detect particles of different sizes, and we'll be looking at particles greater than 1, 2.5, 5, and 10 microns. So you can really grasp how small a micron is, a grain of table salt measures about 120 microns, and a strand of human hair is approximately 70 microns in diameter. At around 40 microns, things start becoming invisible to our eyes. A white blood cell is about 25 microns in diameter, much smaller than what we can see. First up, the wicks. Wicks did pretty well. As you can see, it had a maximum number of particles greater than one micron of 13,897. Next up, we have the EP Auto, and it did pretty poorly, allowing up to 17,602 particles above one micron. As for the Fram, it's right in the middle with 15,964. The Pure Later one did pretty well with 14,000 416 particles above one micron, falling in second place so far. The Beck and Arnley did extremely well, taking the lead from the wicks with a particle count of 12,579. And lastly, the cheapest filter, the Echo Guard, with an impressive 14,739 particles. For our next test, we want to see how much dust can these filters actually hold before they become too restrictive to airflow. This will let us know which filter will actually last longer without you needing to change it. For this test, we introduced 5 grams of dust every 30 seconds and would stop the test after the airflow dropped below 200 cubic feet per minute. The Wix was extremely impressive. It took a whopping 70 grams of dust before dropping below 200 CFM. Let's see if any other filters can beat that. The EP Auto starts off poorly, dropping to 300 after just 5 grams. And only after 35 grams, the EP Auto drops below 200 CFM. Next up, the Fram with a very impressive start of 25 grams to drop below 300 CFM. The Fram ended up with 50 grams taking second place. The Pure Later one starts off strong with 30 grams before dropping below 300 and an impressive 55 grams of capacity, slightly beating the Fram. Next up, we have the Beck and Arnley, and it's off to a horrible start, already dropping well below 300 after only 15 grams. And wow, those five extra grams did it. The Beck and Arnley only held 20 grams of dust, leaving it dead last. Lastly, we have the Echo Guard, already dropping below 30 after 15 grams. Will it beat the Beck and Arnley? And it does, finishing off with 30 grams. As you can see, the Wix dominated the competition with the Beck and Arnley dead last. For our last test, we'll be measuring engine performance. You may be asking yourself, how can an air filter possibly increase the horsepower of my engine? You see, when you press on the accelerator, all you're actually doing is opening up the throttle body and allowing more air into the engine. Thus, the more power it generates. If you have an air filter that allows more air to pass through, your engine will have more air while at full throttle, thus generating more power. Okay, let's head on out to the dyno. First up, we'll be testing the Wix filter. With each filter, we'll be doing three dyno pulls and we'll be comparing the best run of each filter. 
The best run for the Wicks was 216.56 horsepower. Next up, we have the EP Auto with a max horsepower of 215.53. A decrease of one horsepower compared to the Wix filter. Next up, we have the Fram filter coming in with an impressive 216.98 horsepower, taking the lead from the Wix filter. For our next contender, we have the Pure Later One with a max horsepower of 213. 0.73. That's 3.25 horsepower difference between the Pure Later and the Fram. Next up, we have the Beck and Arnley. It came in with a very disappointing 213.26 horsepower, placing it dead last in this competition. And lastly, we have the Echo Guard. The Echo Guard came in with a very respectable 216.18 horsepower. As you can see, the Fram came in on top, proving that their claims were actually true, and it does indeed increase horsepower. Unfortunately, with air filters, there is a trade-off. The better filtering performance, the worse it did in the engine performance test. So in conclusion, which air filter is the best? Well, I would stay well away from the EP Auto. It did pretty awful in every test, and I would just flat out not recommend it. The Echo Guard, although cheap, also falls in that boat. I would just stay away. Now, I was pretty impressed with the Fram Extra Guard. It put in some great numbers, and it's generally available at Amazon or Walmart. Although it fell a little short in the filtering performance, it is an okay choice if in a pinch. Now, the Beck and Arnley did exceptional in the filtering department, but the fact that it's not easy to get and that its capacity was atrocious I can't really recommend it. Now, between the Pure Later One and the Wix, you can't really go wrong with either of them. They both had a great capacity with Wix blowing everyone out of the water. Very respectable filtering performance and the Wix put in great horsepower numbers. No wonder why these two are from the same company, Man and Hummel. Now, if you really want your engine to last, you better install a good oil filter. So. Make sure to go check out this video to see which one's the best. As always, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.